What's good, YouTube? Welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new series on the channel. I don't know how we're going to keep up with all these, but we're going to try. This is by far uh, one of my favorite b games of all time, basketball games of all time. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Uh, not anything that's modded or revamped. Uh, but this is College Hoops 2K8. Hopefully, 2K can make a new college game now that uh, this whole NIL business is going around for everybody. And, you know, we got the new college football game coming out from EA pretty soon. I'm sure EA is going to come out with a basketball game. But honestly, I want a new 2K College Hoops game. That'll be where it's at. But... For this, for this series, we're going to start with a fictitious character, a guy named Corey Felton, 6'3", former point guard, we'll call it. Uh, I haven't really thought too much through his backstory just yet, so we may have to come back and revisit that in terms of his alma mater and all that kind of good stuff. But for now, we're going to get started with this. So... This is the coach, and let's just go through and pick our team. Oh, first, let's uh, fill out the coach's attributes. So on here, uh, what we wanna do is, we want a coach who can recruit. So charisma and scouting are gonna be huge. Teaching is gonna be huge as well. Cause that'll determine like they say right here how fast our players progress during practice offense and defense will get better over time i think i'm gonna go oh no it's kind of charisma give our charisma a b minus at this point so this is where we'll start and what we also do with this with this series is for the first couple years, I'm actually going to just sim through it so that we can get our players into the system, whatever team we select here shortly. So let's see. These are the teams. And you know me, I may have to go with uh, a team in Texas near Houston. Let's see what we got. Texas Southern. We might start there, but let's see what else. I saw another one, not Texas State, us, oh, San Marcos. Perry View. Is that where we're gonna start? I think it is. Yeah, I think we're gonna start here with the Tigers and just see how it goes. So, out of the SWAC. Who is SWAC? If I ain't SWAC. Who is SWAC? If I ain't SWAC. Yeah, we're gonna start with the SWAC. Let's do that. So, let's see who our assistants will be. Uh, first guy, we gotta take a guy who can recruit, you know what I'm saying? That looks like this dude right here, Underwood. So we'll pick him up, and he's the best o overall that we can get. Let's see, who else should we pick up here? This dude, Rice, he'll be our defensive coach. Wait, what, do you, what the hell? I was trying to look at uh, here. Rice. Why does Rice look? Lenny Rice look just like Felton, damn it. But yeah, that's what we're going to go with. Underwood and Rice. Edgar Underwood. Interesting first name there. He's kind of old, 58. Lenny Rice, 36. So both of my assistants are older than me. Lenny Rice is fairly ambitious. Lenny Rice can scout. Underwood can do a little bit of both, scouting and charisma. 
Rice is just behind him on charisma, but Rice can coach defense. I knew it. Yeah, so our assistants are decent. Let's see. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this schedule. My goodness, man. It's horrible. How many away games is that? Hold on. Uh, swap home and away. Let's swap home and away with Corpus Christi. Swap home and away with UT Arlington. I'm going to keep these big teams on here because, you know, we're not really going to play. Damn, look at this. UTEP, Houston, Kentucky, Texas, and TC. This is crazy, man. The schedule is ridiculous. And they got UTEP on here. UTEP on here twice. We will not do that. Uh, let me see. I'm going to swap them up here. The November 8th game. We're just gonna pick somebody random here. West Coast team, let's try to play Pacific. At Pacific, can we do that? Yeah, we can do that, we can make that happen. I'll also swap out Purdue. We don't need to play that many good teams. Like, what the hell? Another West Coast team, Idaho State. We'll also flip that to a home game. I'm going to also take out one of these other teams as well. We can keep the Texas teams, but why do we have to play Kentucky on top of that? That just doesn't make sense. Uh, let's go to Detroit to play those guys. So then, let me see. One, two, three, four, five home games. One, two, three, four, five, six away games and a tournament. That's pretty decent. Uh, Cause you know it's gonna be rough this first year, which, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna simulate through until we get a full until we turn over the complete roster. So we're not gonna show any games until we have our full roster in place. All right. So the ABL. Yes, I will attend the ABL. Before we do that, let's throw some recruits on the board. Um, I'm going to try to tighten this up a bit. So let me pick some recruits and then I'll come back and show you. Actually, though, I just thought about something before we even do that. Let's take a look at our roster and see what, what. No, we know what that is. Let's take a look at the roster. Oh, man. This roster is abysmal. Our top player is a 68 overall. We got a lot of work to do. He's a sophomore, small forward. So, you know, we're going to maybe run our offense through him. So, really, it looks like it doesn't matter what's on our offense. We're going to have to completely re... I mean, it doesn't matter what is on our roster. We're going to have to completely rebuild this roster from the ground up. So it's just a question of how many scholarships. Wait, first off, hold on. Let me look at this again. Okay, this dude can get cut. He can really, no, he's a walk-on. I'm not worried about cutting walk-ons, but scholarship players under what? Like 60? He's a senior, so we might as well keep him. It doesn't matter, but Turner Reichart and this dude right here might get cut just so we could reclaim those scholarships. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Release from the team, yeah. So we're gonna release Jacoby. <clears throat> However you pronounce his name, just to free up that scholarship. It's a ruthless, it's a ruthless business, y'all. It's ruthless. That's one scholarship cleared. Turner Reichart, here's another scholarship we're gonna clear up. 
He's an undersized power forward anyhow. So we're going to release him from the team. So that's two extra scholarships right there. Well, like we said, we're going to leave this dude because he's a senior already. So it doesn't matter if we cut him. Looks like Riker had a relative on the team. So, you know, he's going to be disgruntled. <laughs> Guess we can we can kick him off the team too. Actually, we're not gonna need him. We could we could reclaim that scholarship right there as well. From Billy Record, he's only a 55 point guard. We just got rid of his cousin or his brother, whoever that was. We can let him go too. All right. So we just freed up three additional scholarships. We may or may not be able to use them all in this recruiting cycle, but that's what it's going to be. And like I said, I'll come back once I have, once we get the uh, the recruiting board together. So, one. All right, we're back. So, after cutting, cutting those players off the team, that freed up three more scholarships for us. We have a total of six scholarships open. The way, I, the way I envision building this team is gonna be from the inside out. Although with these six, with this first class, what I'm trying to do is get quality big men and quality point guards. If I can get a, a, a wing as well, that'll be extra cake. I don't think I'll be able to get the full six. Uh, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get higher than a two-star, but mainly I'm trying to get two stars that are ranked at the very least. But let's take a look at the recruiting and I'll tell you a little bit about my strategy behind recruiting. Although actually, before we do that, oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. So here is my target list. This is in no particular order right now. We'll do the ordering once the season starts. This is just the preseason uh, where they're about to get into the the summer league for the high school kids. We don't, we're not going to watch any of these, but I, I'm going to show you the strategy behind it. Uh, but anyway, so 6'10", Todd French from Vaca, Vacaville, California. He's not ranked, but we're going after him because of his size. He's 6'10", 220. He may even get bigger. He, he has really good size and he's on a team. So uh, we'll get to that. Next is Uche Cornette, 6'11", 233, local kid from Houston, Texas. Also not ranked, but again, the size is what we're going after. And he, he's close to home, so hopefully we have a chance of pulling him. After that, May, Maynard Nichols, he's one of... I think two kids that we that we going after that we are targeting right now who are not on an ABL team. ABL for those of you are who are new to this game who who if you are where have you been? But for those of you who are new to this game, the ABL is like this game's version of AAU basketball. Think of it like that. So anyway, Maynard Nichols, uh, 6'11", 233 from Iowa City, Iowa. Although he's not on the ABL team, like I stated, he is ranked. So he's the number 78 center, number 768, 64 overall. So we got him on the board. Uh, we got this guy, R. Tyler. If we end up getting him, I might change his name. But anyhow, R. Tyler, 6'9", 208 from Lubbock, Texas. Another guy who is not ranked, uh, but we're going after his size. We're going to be able to scout him in the ABL to see how he does. You never know if we need to kick any of these guys off the list, we will. Next up, Sammy Head. As you can see, even though this is a, a HBCU, we're going after everybody, right? We open to everybody. And this dude right here, 68210, if we were to land somebody like this with his size, we would convert him to power forward. But this guy, Sammy Head, is from Galveston. Size is everything in this game, by the way. But uh, Sammy Head is from Galveston, not ranked. 
but he's on the ABL team, so we're looking at him. Dean McCoy, 6'7", 210, power forward, undersized power forward, uh, but, and he's from Austin, Texas, also not ranked, but he's on the ABL team, so we're looking at him. Robert Thompson from Houston, Texas, another local kid, 6'9", 255, power forward, not ranked. He's on the straight balling team. Then we're looking at Ken Jacobson, a point guard, local point guard, 6'1", 186 from Houston. Peter Grant, point guard from Irving. He's ranked 196, over, 196 point guard, 656 overall from Irving, Texas. Randall Glass, another point guard, not ranked from Killeen, Texas. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. If I land him, I might have to change his name. Vedran Flores from McKinney, Texas, not ranked point guard. We'll see how he shakes out in terms of the rate, his, his scouting. Spanky Norman, 6'5", 189 from Mobile, Alabama, not ranked small forward. We're, take, we're gonna take a look at him. Josco Becker, another wing from Denver, Colorado. He's ranked 132 overall, 6'19". I'm sorry, 132 small forward, 619 overall. Good size wing, 6'6", 221 from Colorado. Oops. Also, we're looking at Ramon Cuyate is how I pronounce that. He's not on the ABL team from Detroit, Michigan, but he is ranked 796 overall, 177 small forward. AZ Kamen from Clearwater. He's ranked and he is on an ABL team. So hopefully we can land him. He's the number 794 overall player, 176 at his position. And those are the 15 that we're gonna that we got on the board so far right now in the preseason. Uh, let me show you how we set up the ABL. And then I need to set up my, my coaching and I'll show you that once I set it up. But what we do is I've already set this, I already, I've already gone through this. I do the painstakingly, every single game is gonna be a game with one of those guys on our on our uh, list. Some, some teams will be able to look at uh, more than once, others we at least look at once, but in every single game, we're gonna be able to get coverage on our recruiting board, the players on our board. So that's why this stage is critical to what we are trying to accomplish in, in the program. But hold on. All right, so we got that set up. Now let me show you how we're going to be attacking this, our coaching profile. You know, unfortunately, in, in, on the console, you can change the coach, you can edit the coach, but on here, once you set up the coach, I like to try to match the coach's attire with the team, but I can't change it once you set it. So he's stuck with that for the rest of his career, but it is what it is. We just gonna have to flow with it. Uh, on the recruiting, I don't mind assisting, assisted recruiting, they just gonna scout for me. So it's just pre-scouted the type of recruiting priority. So the type of players we're going after in this program, one is athleticism, that's number one. And then number two is shooting. And I'll show you why athleticism is so important. We'll get into that. Offensive playbook, I say all, I say all plays, but basically what we do is uh, we will tailor the playbook, and it's just a handful of plays, but we'll tailor it to our roster each year. Primary defense, is going to be set regardless and we're just gonna to have to play our way up to this the, the, the team that we've inherited is not necessarily built for this but again we'll play our way up to it and this is also part of the reason why i'm going to be simming through you know the first half of this series just to get to where i can have all my players in the system i don't want to it's too many games in a college season it'll take forever get, to get to that point so that that's the slight difference here with this series 
Anyhow, so our secondary defense is gonna be a one three one zone. Our pressure defense is man to man. Inbound press, full court press. This goes back to the number one recruiting pri priority being athleticism. The, the type of teams that I wanna build are gonna be long and athletic, right? Uh, it's gonna take a while to get there, but that that's basically what I'm looking at. That's why when you saw uh, me looking at these recruits on the recruiting front, I'm looking at I was looking at those big guys trying to you know build a, a front court that'd be decent and, and and everything else can build around it over time. So so yeah, so that's what we were trying to run a full, a man to man full court press always, always right. Pinch depth, this will fluctuate depending on the actual roster is at nine right now. But once we get into the season, we'll see where we are and we may have to tweak that up or down. But these will, will keep and set our, our tempo is 75, not too fast, not too slow. Pressure 75, tight enough, but not too tight to where, you know, we're going to be falling out. Uh, defensive rebound versus fast break. We're trying to run. We're trying to run. So that's why we're on the 75 fast. And then transition defense, crash the board. That's at 70. We, we, we do want to get as many offensive rebounds as possible. So that is the sort of style and philosophy we'll be running with. And that's the ABL. So we can just run through this since I've already set it up. I've already gone through, like I said, and set it up. As you can see, every single game, there's a player. We'll see who makes the playoffs, but we can just go ahead and send to the end. We'll see if any of the players that we're looking at, if their teams make it doesn't look like it but yeah so that's the ABL from here we can advance to the season So before we do anything, let's look at our recruiting, see where we are with that. As you can see, none of these guys are stars, right? Like none of them really stand out. Oh, although McCoy is a pretty good rebounder. Let me look at this as well, the uh, interest. Their interest is important. So what I like to do We'll stack everything by interest. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's manage our list here. I want to give, they're all two stars, so at this stage, we're not getting too much into the nitty gritty. We just want the guys who wanna who wanna be tigers, you know what I'm saying? So of this original of this original list that we had, who are the guys that really wanna be tigers? That's that's what we're looking for. Sammy Head.
He's not really that good. Peter Grant. Let's see. That's going to be a tough one to get from Mississippi Valley State. Jacobson. thinking is these top six guys might be the guys who I offer the scholarships to. This 6'9", 255 guy, he can, he can, we can convert him to center. Dean McCoy can stay as a power forward head. Can, mm, we'll see. Maybe keep him at center or move him to power forward. Two point guards. One might end up becoming a two guard, depends. But yeah, I'm thinking we might just play it safe and go after those top five guys. Although, look at this dude. Now that'd be the safe thing to do. We can get kind of risky. And go after somebody like this. This dude will be lethal. Especially in the system I'm trying to build. Let's see. Manage. So I'm saying if we go after Cameron instead of Norman. Because he's a shooter. You see that? We want, we want as many shooters as we can between the guards. We'll see how good of a shooter Ken Jacobson is. But yeah, I think that's, I think that's what we're going to roll with. We will try to sign those top six and keep those other guys as as backup just in case type. So let's see here. Make sure we get tape on all of them. From the best scouting coach try to get tape on even though we went to their games during the ABL get tape on all these guys all right so we did that Next up, see, of the dudes who are in our top six, the ones that are in our municipality, which I believe is what MUN stands for, those are, those are the guys that are super local to where we are. He's local enough, but municipality, that's like saying they're in our, uh, within the vicinity of the city of the school. So, uh, head, we can go ahead and scout him. Okay, he ran out of points. We'll send our assistant coach. 
chain with this dude we can scout him and that's the beauty of you know going after players that are that close is that we can be efficient with our points on those guys all right and then everybody else will give them a call from the head coach And all these other guys will wait, hold on. Yeah, all these other guys will give a call from the head coach as well. Until the head coach run out of points or until we run out of points, whatever comes first. All right, now from here, everybody else get an email. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, that's what we're. All right. So from here, let's take another look at the roster. Get ready for the season. But first, let's look at our roster management. Again, we don't have much to work with here. Uh, a sophomore, small forward, Munir, Castillo, two guard. Got a lot of guards, not much in terms of power four. We're gonna need the whole team actually. So remember when I was showing that we had we were we were looking to use nine players. I think I wanna use the whole because I'm need I'm gonna need all these big guys and they're all down here. So I'm gonna use the whole roster. intend on red shirt and any of these guys i'm trying to move them through the system as quickly as possible uh there's nobody here worth red shirt really so we have a guard dominant roster so when we get to the uh playbook it'll reflect that that's just this year's team uh, let me see. Let me go through rotations. See what the auto generate says. Yeah. Can't really disagree with that. Although, wait a minute. Take the time, set up a playbook, and then I'll. Okay, y'all, we're back. So, um, now I said I was gonna make a custom playbook to the roster, but I, I'm gonna go with the playbook. This is one that I I, I I put together often in other dynasties. I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna go ahead and run it here because I'm not even sure to be honest if how much the playbook comes into play on the simulated games so we're just gonna run the offense as i would as if i had the players that i want in the system but let's take a look at what this playbook is Management. nope not that i'm tripping all 
All right, so uh, the first play is from the Princeton Offense Center, low post feed. I'll show you that play. That's this one right here. Now, when we get our center in, you know, it'll make more sense for this play. The next one, the next two are out of the quick, the quick post and roll. I'm sorry, the quick pick and roll. What am I talking about? And the quick post up. So see, that's why the offense I run normally requires good, good front court players, good big men. So the quick pick and roll and the quick post up. Then out of the baseline one, we got the shooting guard back door. So we use a lot of back door plays. Next is the double cross two. That's out of the one four high. That's this one here. Okay, after that, triangle. It's triangle six. For the three point reversal play. We run that. Then there's the flex, out of the flex one, we run a small forward back door cut. That would be this right here, small forward back door cut. And then finally, out of the baseline one, we run a shooting guard wing screen. So where's the baseline one? We run this two guard wing screen. So as you can see, the wings, the, the, the guards, and the big men are important. This team sort of lacks in the big man department. They're not that good, but that is what it's gonna be. And for the, for the intro setup episode of the season, I think we're gonna end it right here. I don't want this video to be too long. I think I'm gonna do the entire season in one episode uh, since we're simming through the entire thing. So we'll come back and we'll probably make the, the simulation seasons, make those two episodes each, a setup episode like what we do on here to set up the season. And then we'll do a season episode where we'll go through the season, simulate and recruit and try to build our roster up to get to the point where we've turned over the roster completely with all of our recruited players. So that's what we'll do. We'll come back in episode number two and bring you that for our series with the Texas Southern Tigers head coach, Corey Felton. I believe that's his name, right? Let's double check. Let me just make sure I'm calling it out right. My bad, hold on. Yeah, C. Felton, as you can see, we can't make any changes to him, but yeah, that's Corey Felton. Yeah, so that'll do it.